Oh my goodness. <sighs> hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Do you remember back in the winter where I tried to build a new mineral feeder for the goats? You know, the one where I was like drilling and gluing and everything on the dining room table and make sure I don't screw this into the dining room table. That would be bad. Yeah. People were very concerned that I was doing it on the dining room table. The dining room table's from Ikea. It's fine. Anyway, not the point. The point is I failed miserably. I have a new plan. This plan is more well thought out and I already bought all of the supplies. This time, it's gonna work. And I just need Kenny to know that he does not have the market cornered on building stuff, okay? I can build stuff too. Got it, Kenny? I can build stuff too. Watch me now. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see how much of a better builder I am than Kenny. <laughs> okay, well, at least subscribe so you can see my future failures. <laughs> All right, Kenny's not home, so I can do this without being micromanaged. What do we have here? Got some PVC pipe. This is three inch pipe. And I am going to attach these 90 degree bends to the bottom. Then I am going to test whether the 22 and a half degree or the 45 degree angle is better for giving minerals to the goats. I'm gonna make two for the girls because I'm gonna start giving them kelp in addition to their loose minerals. Um, kelp has iodine, and a lack of iodine can lead to uh, particular birth defects in goat kids. I personally have not seen it, um, but I have seen goats with the birth defects from other people, and just wanna make sure we avoid it. Now, where does Kenny keep the drills? I mean, usually they're just sitting out because he doesn't put anything away, but I don't see them. Do you guys know where he keeps the drills? Oh, this is labeled power tools and it's in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is pre-drill holes in the various pieces of PVC here. Um, I wanna screw the parts together. I wanna to be able to take it apart so I can clean it, but I also can imagine that the goats will jump on this stuff and it will come apart if it's not screwed together. Tables on wheels. I'm not gonna screw on this bottom piece right now just because I wanna be able to quickly interchange those once I know what works. So I'm just gonna put those on like, you know, just normal together for now. I don't know, it's fairly tight. I should at least be able to test it without screwing it on. I'm gonna put a top on as well. They're high enough that the goats aren't gonna get in the top, but I don't want dirt and junk to fall in there, so. Okay, I changed my mind. I did screw in the bottom piece right away because it was really like flopping around on there all willy nilly. It's easy enough to unscrew if I decide to change it. All right, next step is to go do some measuring in the barn. I was gonna say something else. I wanna put a support under the mineral feeders so that um, they don't get pushed down. 
I'm going to use that plumbing strap, the metal plumbing strap to adhere it to the walls. But obviously if the goats jump on it, they're going to push everything down. So I'm going to make a little platform to support it. All right. So here's where I'm thinking about putting the mineral feeders. That way, if I need to fill them quickly from outside the pen, I can, I can just reach over here. Um, but they're not like right here on the door where the goats tend to jump up. So I'm going to measure here, mark this. I was going to power wash the barn and disinfect everything before I put in the mineral feeders, but I've got a broody hen. She just took a little trip outside to get a drink and some food, but give me an opportunity to count how many eggs she's on. There are nine here, so we could have some chicks. She started sitting on them sometime when we were in Spain, so could be two weeks, could be a week from now. Who knows? We'll keep you posted. Now, I gotta get out of here before she gets back. Something I learned for the zillionth time and finally decided to accept on my last mineral feed bill was that you can't drill and screw into end grain. So I made these two little blocks that are going to go on the sides of my two by fours in the barn and hold up the shelf so that I'm not drilling and screwing into the end grain of the shelf piece. I can be taught. Because this really isn't a time that I need your help. Out. 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 Come on, goats. Out. Dang it. All right, one more screw back here and we are done for today. Let's trim this first. I think it'll be easier to trim before I screw it in. I'm gonna trim up these bottom pieces while I'm at it. And the last screw is a Phillips head instead of a square head <sighs> because that's life on Beagle Road. One more trip back to the garage. Well, it's up and seems pretty sturdy. Uh, so I'm feeling a lot more confident about this than the last one I built. I'm just gonna put the one up for now because I don't have the kelp yet and I wanna see if this is the right shape for the end before I put the other one together. Uh, so let's let the goats in and see what happens. Thank you. 
Oh, there's our broody girl. You coming back to your eggs? Hey, girl. Well, guys, I did it. I built something completely on my own that the goats did not instantaneously destroy. It was a proud day for me. Make sure to subscribe because now I'm on a roll. I'm gonna build all kinds of stuff for the goats. Thanks for watching. Oh my goodness.